Hello everyone, uh, it's been a week. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. In my case, you guys are not asking, but mine was a little bit good and a little bit bad. Maybe bad because I had deadlines, which are called deadlines because they kill my brain. And then I also, yeah, uh, it's too cold. Not cold, but... As you know, there's no winter in the Philippines, and then autumn, so now I'm freaking out. <laughs> I mean, like, I only experienced like a month of summer, but now it's starting to get cold. Um, and also there's a typhoon, so let's pray for the ones in Japan who got affected. Although I'm not saying that I don't care, just I know Japan, uh, has been through many catastrophes and it's very easy for them to get back up so I'm pretty sure Japan can do something actually I'm planning to check the volunteer websites to go there but it's too far from my place and for those asking where I am um, I'm actually located in Hiroshima and for those asking me for a date I'm not looking for a date. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's not that I have a boyfriend or a husband. I just want to live my life to the fullest, especially. Come on. <laughs> um, it's my alone time out of the country. I should make the most out of it. And I don't think I'm ready for a relationship. So, plus there are many girls in the sea, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure there are much better women and I'm also trying to focus on things that I have to improve in myself, like my studies, like that. You guys know that I'm taking another degree and I'm trying to get a better job. Not a better job, but to change my job and make my papers more qualified, like that. And I'm trying a lot of things that are not really available for me in the Philippines, like Costco. <laughs> I went to Costco and enjoyed pizza you know the slice right it's kind of big i had one only one for the guy who keeps on telling me um damn goes the ah not damn uh bang goes the diet i only ate one pizza but i also ate ice cream <laughs> and i bought one actually and it's it's matcha maybe it's healthy so anyway so that's the thing, um, I hope people won't get offended by my decision because first I made this channel to inform, to give information and I'm not looking for someone and I'm trying to enjoy the freedom that I have, the experience that I have and the things that I want to try like I want to like for maybe after, maybe next month I'll be going to Osaka for a beauty night out we don't have that in the Philippines, some beauty night, I don't know what it is, but it says beauty night out. I am I wanted to go to the one in Tokyo, but it's too far. So, I also, I just want to try many things. And before I step into those things that I'm still scared about. <laughs> Sorry if I try to term it as scary because, um... As you know, my dad is not a good example. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I want to enjoy my life while I'm young. I don't want to get old regretting things that I haven't tried. I know what you're going to say. You're going to tell me it's better to try it with someone, right? No, it's not. Uh, I think for me, just for me, uh, doing things on your own makes you stronger, right? Uh, who knows Kelly Clarkson? Um, she said what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, just I want to enjoy things, you know. Independence. Uh, experiences. Like now, every time I'm in, yeah, in Japan, uh, there are four seasons. So I really don't know how to dress up. I only know summer dressing up, you know, like uh, flat shoes, shorts, and shirt like that. But in Japan, they have clothes for summer, winter, spring. Now autumn, I don't know what to wear for autumn. I mean, 
I searched the internet. I know it's crazy, but I'm a girl. And I had a good weekend. You know why? Uh, speaking of experiences, I won a, a raffle. I'm 26 and I never won a raffle. So I tried to join Fox. You guys know Fox, right? If you like Wayward Vines, Walking Dead. So something like that. So I joined a raffle and then I just sent a picture and there are three prizes. One was Mira Curl. Mira Curl is a curling iron. Uh, it's for hair. And then the other, it's for girls. The other one is a box of bottled beauty water. And then MAC cosmetics. Um, like a little bit expensive cosmetic, I guess. So I just joined out of, you know, anyway, it's only a picture. You just have to give it. And then the first prize is the cosmetic, so I said to myself, it doesn't matter if I win because I'm sure many people would join, but I won. And this was my prize. I saved $250 for makeup. Imagine that, $250 worth of makeup. Save, ching ching, you're right. Ching ching, ka ching, whatever. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Well, anyway, enough of my day. Um, I hope you guys had a good one. Maybe you guys didn't win a raffle, but you won a heart of a Filipina or something. But let's have the questions. Um, this question is from... Mm, I'm going to be posting his question along with my video. So, yeah. Uh, for those who have this, this the same dilemma or this situation or who has, you know... Who has gone through this the same situation please advise this guy because first I'm not a foreigner I mean uh, when it comes to money I don't know how foreigners spend their money I know how they spend it like it's my conclusion something like that and I'll share my idea please be kind to share on your idea so he says um, I understand Filipinas are looking for foreign boyfriends because I guess foreigners have more money. My question is that there's a is there an amount of average that a Filipino would accept as adequate to meet their needs? I know girls would like to have enough money for themselves as well for their families. If I have one thousand five hundred dollars a month, would that be enough for me to get a nice girlfriend? If I give two hundred dollars to the family per month, would one hundred one thousand three hundred dollars? be enough for me and my girl to live a comfortable life in the philippines what is the amount of us dollar needed to live a comfortable life in the philippines 1500 2000 or 5000 dollars i mean to support a nice girl and her family thanks okay i'm not gonna mention your name but i want you to know that listen to this the money that a filipina girl earns I mean, Filipinos earn is like 8,000 pesos a month plus tax, you know, they have to remove the tax so it's like 6,000. So that's really low, especially in Angeles City. Now, if you go to further, you know, countryside, it's going to be like 6,000 pesos. So it goes lower and lower and lower like that. Now, if the girl is working at a call center, um, it's going to be a little bit higher. Like my cousin earns about uh 35,000 a month he's a guy but his uh, position is already high when i work at the call center i get about 15,000 pesos a month uh less tax of course and then at the bar my friend earns like about according to her like 30,000 pesos a month but not all of that 30,000 you know it's not permanent and it doesn't mean that they send that amount, all of that amount to their family. Of course, they have to think about their beauty or something like that, spend for themselves. And usually they just, anyway, I'll be explaining that further. Um, so that is the earnings. So it depends on where you will live, but I believe that $1,500 is enough. Of course, $5,000 is really big to live if you're gonna live like you're gonna have a nice you can already have a nice you know 
a nice apartment, a secured one with a nice swimming pool, air conditioner paid. Actually, you can live in a hotel and then you can rent a car for a month. You can hang out every night. You can shop every day. Don't, that's too big. I mean, my salary is like only about 2000 so... I believe that that amount is really big, especially the exchange rate. If I'm not mistaken, it went down to 47 pesos. So you guys like have, mm, you're so lucky for 4,700 dollar, 4,700 pesos for 100 dollars. I wonder when will yen <laughs> be better. It's still low, but mm, it's, you know, anyway, US dollars has a good term. It's really in good terms right now. So you better change your dollars. You put them in the bank. You can spend a lot. Enjoy it. And yeah, uh, I believe that 1,005, I'll stick with 1,000. So that is really high five thousand dollars like you're really gonna live a comfortable life and how much would it would be would and then one thousand five hundred i'm not gonna talk about two thousand dollars because i hate math anyway one thousand five hundred dollars would be enough um to get a nice apartment and then pay for the bills and to, yes two thousand two hundred dollars is enough for a family Actually, I know some family, you know, like, especially if it's only the kids and they live in the province, like, uh, countryside, some women only send, like, 4,000 pesos a month. But, you know, here's what I could advise you. Um, let's say you have $1,500. You're gonna put $200 for the family. So, with that $200... I would advise you not to, if you're, you're going to have a Filipino girlfriend, I'm going to advise you not to give that $200 one time. You see, money is easily spent. So what I would advise is divide that $200 into four. Like send them 2,000 pesos or 2,500 pesos a week. Why? Because when a Filipina has that amount of money, it's easy, it's as the, as, you know, as the saying goes money you don't earn is easy to spend so it's actually true uh, and you might be surprised that in one week six thousand is I mean eight thousand nine thousand pesos is gone so if we're gonna base it on the exchange rate right now so it's really 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 annoying that they might they might they're gonna make reasons like hey we don't have Blah, 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 blah. We don't have, you have to pay for the electricity. Like this, like that, like this, like that. So you're the one who's going to get stressed. Unlike if you give them, like, if you're going to divide it, 2,500, 2,500, you know, divide it every week. Um, especially remittance fees, not that expensive. You just have to choose the, the cheaper one. So they can manage the money. Plus, they have something to expect at the end of the week. Or unlike they are expecting every month and then they just spend it at least they can you know budget but to be honest with you um 2500 is also big so it's gonna be really enough like really enough to support a family even with a woman with a child like that or yeah i and i believe uh if I, before my stepmom sister and my stepmom's niece i told you about her niece cousin and anyway, the chona uh they were sending their families weekly and oh, um like 2000 pesos or 3000 pesos or 1000 peso depending on how much they earn from the bar and then you can also if you want um there are some special occasions like birthdays. You can just add 500 pesos. You don't have to make it too grand. You know, you know, like, you don't have to give too much. I mean, I'm not, I know Filipinos would get angry with what I'm saying, but 2,500 pesos, getting it for free is already big. So, 
And of course your girl would be thankful for that. I guess you just have to set limitations. And then um, for your living expenses, uh, 1300 is enough uh, to get a nice apartment and then pay the bills and eat and maybe go out during weekends at the bar. But you can go out every day to eat. So I think it is enough. Uh, I would advise you to keep like $200 for you just a saving um, in case there would be like an emergency trip or something like that also it's nice to tell your girlfriend that you have this certain budget and you tend to keep it that way because you wanted to stay longer with her so it's gonna be helpful for her you can tell her like your budget is only one thousand dollars um, including you know rent fee if you're lucky you can find some apartments which where I stayed before was 12,000 pesos and electric inter it's a room it's only a bedroom but it has everything cable internet Wi-Fi security like that it's like a hotel so everything is in the 12,000 pesos so other expenses yeah but of course if you will if you're okay to spend $1,300 on everything that you guys need um, it would be much better and it's also advisable to give your girlfriend at least like uh, maybe $200 for her own expense or if not just yeah anyway you don't really have to give her because she will give it to her family unless she needs to buy something for her own so a little allowance is fine I guess and also them the family so this what that's my advice and I'm not sure on how much other foreigners spend but if you're gonna give me that amount and I'm gonna spend it in the Philippines probably yeah 1,500 could give me a comfortable house I could give money if I want to my family $200 a month and then here's the thing no matter what happens um, I would advise to tell your girlfriend it's only $200 so I'm gonna give like $50 a week no matter what the exchange rate is so she won't complain her family won't complain so she can tell her family in advance and then uh, for the necessities are usually food um, apartment and if you will buy your own things I think it would be a little pricey so it's much better for you to find a fully furnished apartment and so you all you have to worry is about the electricity i mean not buy rent electricity and wi-fi which are usually attached so you just have to pay for that so i guess when you live in the philippines for the first time uh if you're gonna get an apartment outside the hotels there are a lot of down payments so it's gonna cost you a little bit like one month deposit two months advance like that but if you will choose apartments like example candy suites um 25,000 pesos a month 22 22,000 I'm not sure or other apartments 15,000 and everything is in there uh it, it can save you the hassle of you know the deposit fee for apartment and buying bed like that so but if you will buy those beds probably you can prepare two thousand dollars for your first month and then on the next month you can start your 1500 budget it's also yeah it's really good to tell your girl about your budget so that she would also know her limitations and tell her to also mind about you you know um and it's also good to keep your own money in case of emergency so I don't know if that helped for those who have been in the Philippines and how much are your living expenses how much do you spend a month even with a girlfriend how much do you give the family please write down below to help our friend right here and for you I'm really sorry that I had to make this video this weekend because as you know uh, yeah I had deadlines so 